Hello and welcome to a new video with me, Fidot Carlson. In today's video, I'm gonna make a review on three mocks that I have built, and I call these Reek, Ackley, and Nexu. And they are all from Star Wars Episode 2, where they look like this. So I have tried my best to replicate these in Lego, and I am pretty satisfied with the result. And I'm now gonna show each of these three individually, and we'll start with Reek. Here we have Reek, and this is what he looks like next to his movie counterpart. I have to say that they are pretty similar, and I am very satisfied with what I have accomplished with this mock. I'll start with showing him from some different angles, but he does look the same from every angle, so there is not much uh, difference, but... I would say that the best way to describe this beast is a space rhino. I really love this design with this huge bulky body with this hunch at the top. And uh, there are also two studs here at the top so you can place a minifigure there. So I'm gonna take Princess Leia and well, there she sits. We also have a little tail here at the bottom and the underbelly of the reek is red as well as the front and then the red goes up to the head which is the best part of the mock if you ask me. It has three horns, one on each shin and then one on the nose. It also has uh, what is supposed to be a piercing in the nose which is actually a black tooth but it looks pretty good also the head is not too smooth to show the, the rough skin that the reek has the eyes are pure black and it, he also have some studs on the sides then the mouth it can open very widely as you can see and it has two wide white teeth to show that it is a herbivore. And then it also has a uh, tip of the shin here as you can see. The head is attached with a mixel ball joint so it can move in basically any direction. Works very well to me. Then we only have the legs left to take a look on. And I am pretty satisfied with those. In order to uh, create this angle, I use some uh, hinge joints, so they can all be turned too straight if you want, but I don't think that looks very good, so I prefer to pull them out like this. I used tiles to hide all the studs, and then you can see a... Uh, two or a hoof or what you want to call it and it's made of a pyramid one by one the legs are attached with regular ball joints so they can turn in basically any direction so they're very very good for instance he can stand on his back legs like this like if he's charging or something so, that was everything I could say about the Reek. Now let's take a look at the next beast. Here is the Ackley, and this is what it looks like next to its movie counterpart. So, uh, I think it is pretty good, but there's something with a head that feels off to me, but I can't really tell why, and also the legs look too skinny and fragile except for the front legs but otherwise i'm pretty satisfied i can show it from some different angles just like the reek it is symmetrical but i turned around otherwise this is like a big space crab or insect or spider or something in that way and it looks very cool, even if my mock here is not as strong as the original. As you can see, he stands on six legs, and the two pairs here are the same, and they can be turned in different ways. They are connected with two 
clips and uh, we'll have a claw at the end then the front legs are made out of mixel ball joints and hinge pieces and they have a wider range of motion and they are also a little bit bulkier at the tip and they also have a claw so i am pretty satisfied with those a problem with this mock however is that it is hard to make it stay steady you see it easily falls over like this but uh, pretty good but uh, certainly not the best then we have the body which is pretty small and compact and i use a lot of slopes to make it lean upwards and it also has a little tail here then the underbelly is light gray while the other part is dark gray then here on the long neck we see the head which is my favorite part and as you can see it has this piece sticking out from the head and as you can see there is a green 2x2 two two here covering the adornment because otherwise it would look like that and it was not so very good but unfortunately it does not cover the entire but uh, not so bad as you can see he got a lot of teeth all in all there are 14 of them and that makes him look very scary and dangerous then you can also see his tan eye here but it is a little bit hard to see from different angles then we have the lower jaw with just two teeth so you can open that and close it then the big complaint about this is if you look at it from upwards you can see the white pieces that the teeth are attached to so it it's best that you look from this angle so now let's see if we can make him stand again so yeah it worked so that was the acclay now let's move on to the last pieces here is nexu and this is what he looks like next to his movie counterpart and i must say that this is the most accurate model of the three it has all the components it has the right color with black stripes the blue spiky mane and the wide jaw filled with lots of teeth so very satisfied i'll show him from some different angles as well and this is a type of a cat like carnivore and uh, it's very cool just like i want to the body is uh, pretty thin but yet muscular and then he has some blue spikes here at his shoulders or mane made by some blue slopes and then he also has a very long tail which is split into two at the end and it's composed of hinge joints so you can move it in very different directions then the end is two grey spikes attached with a clip so you, they fall off a little easy but as long as you don't touch them then the front legs are the same and the back legs are the same these can't unfortunately not move except that you can rotate the claws 360 degrees and that's pretty cool it also has some stripes but my complaint about the legs is that they are too close to each other that's look a little bit weird especially when the back legs are not as close to each other but i like them either way then we have the back legs here and they are attached with mixel ball joints so you can touch them oh, it's full off but uh, yes you can touch you can move them in very many directions and it also has some stripes it has a little bit strange form as it just sticks out the piece here but uh, pretty cool then we have the head which is my favorite part of this mock it has a lot of white teeth here in its wide mouth make it look very blood first it also has four red eyes here but it also has some nostrils and some blue spikes at the head then as you can see you can open up the, the mouth very widely 
And he has a so pink has tongue there. there so Looks very cool. Then can also stand there. How many it can close like that? You cannot close the whole way because the teeth is in the so, way. But I don't think it's yeah, be close yeah. more than that. So that was the next two. Probably my favorite, favorite of the three, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, that was all I had for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I see you in the next.